Okay, so uh, I want to talk a little bit about how to set up MOE to be able to change the interface colors, uh, icons, and functionality uh, on the fly. As you can see in this particular uh, version that I'm looking at, I have this funny button up here called Refresh. And when you click it, it basically refreshes uh, the CSS and all of the uh, JavaScript that's used to draw this particular interface. The MOE interface is built uh, based on, on the WebKit browser code. So let's take a look at this in a little more detail. Um, first, I'm going to go in and show a little bit how this might work. I'm using the free Adobe Brackets program you can download that allows you to edit CSS and HTML. And here's the CSS that we're looking at. And this is the, uh, uh, as we scroll down, you'll see that we have uh, different, like here's, an, here's what images, here's the body color, here's the menu body color, there's a uh, command button, all these different uh, areas. And uh, one of the ones that's uh, interesting is the side pane body. And so let's, uh, here's, the, here's the color for that, as you guys are familiar with this particular color. And I'm going to change this to ff 0 so that's just pure red so if I roll it so I'm gonna change that side panel to red now I'm gonna say file save I'll we'll go back to uh, MOE and you can see this is the background we're gonna change so hit refresh notice that that's now red so that's a little bit about how, how that works let's go back in here and I'm gonna take the, the side panel I'm gonna change it back save and then go back to here and hit refresh now we're back to our regular color so that's how it works so let's talk a little bit about how do you set this particular button up uh, to work so uh, let's go uh, to the finder here and here's our application uh, I'm on a Mac of course in Windows it's a different location but on the Mac you'll right click here show package contents you go to the drive C you go into uh, uh, the uh, uh, MOE folder and then in the MOE folder is uh, a UI folder, right? So this is the UI folder. So this, all these are the files. This is the actual the CSS file that you're that you're uh, uh, going to edit to create those file, uh, those uh, the the background changes and the color changes. Um, and then we're looking for a file that is called. Hold on, let me make sure I get that. Sidepane.htm, right? So we'll go down here and we're going to look at sidepane.htm. I'm going to right click and open it with bracket program, but it's already open there, so but that's how I would do that. Let's go back into bracket brackets and here's a side pane. So so let's go to the very top of here and very the first thing right under bottom <coughs> body, we have this V box style. And then right under that I have this comp this right here. So this this is the code that is going to put that refresh button on top of that window. Now you would think that's all you need to do, but in fact, it's not. There's one other step that you have to take. After you've done this and saved it, you'll need to also go back into MOE, and uh, and you're going to need to go into the, uh, let's scroll this over here, to the options area. And in the options area, let me pull this over and get this in the right spot. Uh, we're going to look at the uh, import, uh, I'm sorry, we're going to look at the uh, uh, general and this edit any file. So we want to launch that MOE any file. So I'm going to exit MOE and launch it. And here's the file. And what we need to do is scroll down in the, U, in the UI part. View, commands, mesh export, UI. You're going to have something down here that says uh, disable file caching and it says N. You want to make sure and change that to Y and then save it. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and launch MOE uh, again, and it'll pop up here. And now you're going to have it uh, with this refresh button and the refresh button working. So again, once that's done, it's a matter of uh, just editing. Uh, you can edit these icons by just going directly into this folder, and you'll see there's a whole folder of icons in here. Uh, or, 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 you know, in this case, let's look at, you know, here's some... Uh, icons so you can look at these there's an add point so you can look at these and just change these if you want to change the icons these are all uh, transparent icons uh, 
So this is kind of a, uh, if you're going to customize the interface, this hopefully gives you a good start because if you understand CSS a little bit, you should be able to use CSS and mo <coughs> modify these icons and uh, give you a chance to uh, change what this overall interface will look like. So I hope that helps anyone that's interested. Uh, took me a while to figure all that out. Uh, so I'm hoping that uh, uh, maybe we can have some great new UI UX uh, kind of interfaces uh, for MOE comes out of this. Okay, thanks.